Here's an update from our correspondent, Clement Bonejo. The eruption of Mount Nirogongo on the 22nd of May and the evacuation of 10 neighbourhoods in the city of Goma five days later have displaced hundreds of thousands of people. According to the UN, 1,340 children were separated from their families as they fled on foot towards Rwanda or to Sake in the western suburbs of Goma. With the help of NGOs and UN agencies deployed on the ground, 978 children have been reunited with their parents. Others have been placed in foster families or in emergency shelters. Nous travaillons étroitement avec les organisations locales, avec des, des, des groupes de protection locales, sur l'identification des individus, des, des femmes enceintes peut-être, les, les personnes ayant des handicaps, des enfants séparés, qui doivent être de plus en plus protégées et qui, pour lesquelles il faut trouver une solution adaptée. The volcano is quieter now, and while earthquakes continue, they've been losing intensity. Local authorities say they're now assessing whether it's safe for the population to return to Goma. However, it's estimated that over half a million people remain in need of humanitarian assistance. Some of the city's water and electricity networks have been damaged by the lava flow, limiting access to drinking water and power in Goma's northern suburbs. Schools and hospitals have also been destroyed. NGOs and agencies say reconstruction efforts are likely to take months.